Hey what's up guys, it's Kazooie here and welcome to another FIFA 20 tutorial where today we are starting off with the new free kicks for FIFA 20. In case you haven't seen any of the previous tutorials I've uploaded so far to my channel which are most likely about the new skill moves, then uh, be sure to check them out as well. There will be a playlist for you guys available in the description down below and also in the top right hand corner. And uh, also if you're enjoying this series of tutorials I've uploaded so far, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already and also make sure to hit the notification bell for more uploads so in today's video i'm going to be teaching you one of the new free kick styles for fifa 20 which is the curved free kick this is a variation you were able to do in previous fifas but as you do know the free kick system for fifa 20 has completely changed and in this series of tutorials i'm going to teach you guys how to master them and score them on a frequent basis so in this video we are starting off with the curved free kick One of the most important things about free kicks is the distance you take them from. For the curved free kick, I would recommend to take them anywhere between 18 and 25 yards. Next up is to find which player is the best to take the free kick with. The two most important stats for the curved free kick are the free kick accuracy and the amount of curve. Next up is how or where to aim your free kick. For FIFA 20, you can use the radical to aim your free kick by moving the left stick. The best way to aim is by positioning the radical either next to or above the player that is inside of the wall. Anything between two and two and a half bars of power should work the most effectively to score this type of free kick. Next up are the controls to take this type of free kick. You can use the right trigger to select your player, then use the left stick to aim, and obviously use the shoot button to add power. For FIFA 20, you can also use the right stick by holding it down to add power, but the longer you hold it down or the longer you hold the shoot button, the more power the player will add and thus creating in a less accurate free kick. And finally, add spin by rotating the right stick in the direction you want to curve your shot as your player is approaching the ball. And if you do everything right, it should look something like this. Has a go. Oh, what an exquisite goal! Absolute perfection! In FIFA 20, you also have the option to time your free kicks. As the player is approaching the ball, the timing bar will appear. Press the shoot button when the indicator is in the green zone or when the player is about to contact the ball to get a well-timed shot. I personally don't use time finishing myself, but this is optional for those who want to increase their chances of scoring free kicks. And to finalize this tutorial off, here are some examples of free kicks that I managed to score. Please let me know in the comments down below if this video helped you guys out by dropping a like on the video and also if you have any questions be sure to let me know in the comments down below as well or ask me on Twitter or Instagram which is at Kazooie94 and lastly also do let me know which type of free kick you would like to see a tutorial of next time. Anyway that is the end of the video, hope you enjoyed, like the video if you of course did, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell for more future uploads. Anyway that's the end, I'd like to thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys later, bye bye.